tie on this morning because we're doing a really classy show after this show. Oh. <laughs> what show is that? Uh, probably uh, CBS uh, morning show. And uh, I, I favor it. Uh, CBS, I think, because we're doing a lot of CBS shows. They favor us. And Howard. And Howard, yes. I have to do Howard because I'm going to sell more books than Howard. <laughs> and Howard is my competition now. Are you excited to be doing the show? I'm sorry, I fell excited? asleep. <laughs> uh, you got him sleeping. Certainly I'm excited. No, it's always fun. I, I enjoy Howard. Uh, I enjoy Howard's honesty. And the fact that I'm in Howard's book and I'm getting even with him, that's the thing because I put him in my book. Now, this is kind of a funny story. I thought Adam West was here because he wrote a new book. Turns out Adam West is here because he wants Gary's job, our producer. Oh. Yeah, I didn't realize he was interviewing, so I don't want to embarrass him by bringing him in. Can we hear a little bit of the <laughs> <laughs> Adam West is going to be the new producer of this show. Now, actually, Adam West, the original Batman, the real Batman. Classic. The only classic. Batman. Yeah, he hasn't heard about the movie. No. <laughs> Adam doesn't like you to bring up the movie because she's really hurt that they didn't pick him to be the... Uh, here he is. Here he is, the great Adam West. Look at him. You look younger than ever. Look at you, you son of a bitch. You look great. Look at you. Batman. Yeah. I grew up with you. That voice is unmistakable. It is unmistakable. What is that Howard's term for governor? Is it a relic now? Yeah, yeah. You ought to hold on to that one. <laughs> that's a... Uh, that's more that's more valuable than your cape. <laughs> there he is, the great Batman Adam West. Yes. Of course. Adam West not only upset that they didn't use him in the movie, he's also upset that they didn't let him draw the comic book. I don't know if how many people know that. What about that cartoon that's on in the afternoon? Is he upset about that? He is upset about the cartoon as well. He wanted to draw that himself. And uh, when they did not allow him, he went on a rampage. He was going to take them to court. Actually, Adam West, it is good to see you. You have put out a new book about your Batman experiences. And you have been very, very open and honest in this. Uh, you, you didn't hold back, did you? No, as you did not, Howard, either. That's right. You learned fact, from me. Yes, I yes. did. I, I was in your book. I yes. am honored to, and so happy to tell you that uh, it's great to have been in your book. Does anyone remember why Adam West was in my book? No, I don't. Okay, I'll, I'll tell do you why. Do. Let me tell the story. I have a okay. picture in there. You as fart man. And by the way, this morning, Howard, I'm here to tell you that I want you elevated, Howard. I think it's about uh -oh. time. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Did you, you write comedy? Uh, what what no. is he going to elevate Adam, you no. to? That, that <laughs> Did you write some comedy that you're going to do here today? No, not a thing. But stick, I, I Howard. Let him do He's it. reaching into a big plastic bag. I think it's one of Batman's condoms. <laughs> but go ahead. Yes. What do you I have there? I brought something that's insured for about a million dollars, Howard. What and is that? I feel that it's time you were elevated from fart man to something uh, possibly more heroic. Okay. Would you do me the honor? of trying on my classic original Batman Ooh. cowl. Oh, is, that, is that the actual that. one? Yes. Holy Do you think I'd fit Yes. Yes. You didn't blow any schnod into this, did you? Oh, not, no, I've kept it clean all these years because it's a clean Let me see that. Place. Hold it up. Now, why on the inside does it say, this is not a safety helmet? <laughs> why does it say that? Seriously. <laughs> Well, it is a safety helmet. Oh, it is. Oh, yes. If someone Absolutely. wrote on it, this is not a safety helmet. Uh, it's high impact plastic. This is the actual. I do that so the people who are out to get me will read it first. This is the actual then... Batman thing that you wore on TV. Yes. You know, it's funny. It, it it doesn't look that elaborate. Let me see it. Yeah, here it is. See? Should I put it on, Robin? Absolutely. But Howard, wow. it photographs like a million doesn't look dollars. Doesn't elaborate at all. Look, look at the little blue lines. Howard. Look how cheaply made it yeah. is. <laughs> Let me try it on. You mind if I try it on? Not at all. That's why I brought it, Howard. Wow. But you have to give it back. Oh, I took my glasses off. One, one second. I'm not giving it back. Uh, <laughs> hold on, I'm going to try it on, Rob. You can't. Well, you got a on. you got a uh, small head. <laughs> no, you have more hair. That's, that's it. I that's can't. It. I can't get it on, Robin. I don't just, think Adam hair, could Howard, get that on. on. How's this look? <laughs> Let me see you put it on. <laughs> no, Howard, I can't because DC Comics does not allow me to wear my uh, cowl. Is that right? That's right. That's what I thought. I yeah, didn't think they, he could run around in that. Yeah, they said uh, you can't wear your costume because uh, what's that all about? Be confused between you and Michael Keaton. That's oh, like the right. lone. <laughs> yeah, right. They might be confused. That's like the Lone Ranger. They won't let him wear his stupid mask. I know, and he had to run around in dark glasses. What is it? Do you know what the value of that is? What? Take it because I heard Adam talking about it. he wants to be really careful with it. Yeah, notice Adam hasn't sold it to anyone. It's though. worth three hundred thousand and insured for a million. So why don't you just sell it so you have some money? Well, that's why I'm here this morning. Are you going to sell it? Uh, 
You, if that's worth 300000 why wouldn't you sell it? You, what do you care about having well, some stupid well, mask? That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm here for you. <laughs> will you make an offer? Jackie will do it. He's <laughs> got plenty of dough. He's been selling <laughs> those CDs. And, and he has a house full of junk. Yeah, that'll, fit right <laughs> that'll fit right in with the house. <laughs> <laughs> is it really worth something? Yes, it is. Yeah. yeah. I, I've had offers for all that stuff, Howard. Really? Yeah. yeah I've got kind of a small warehouse full of memories. Do you have the suit and everything? Sure. I got oh. my bat jam. He wears, it, he wears it every night before he goes to bed. <laughs> no, no, but the point is that you have that stuff. And that's probably worthwhile in the sense monetarily. You didn't get paid that much for the Batman show. So the idea that you held on to that stuff was probably the smartest investment you could have made. Well, I thought uh, it was kind of shrewd, yeah. Right, because here's, here's according to the new book by Adam West, he made $4,500 a week for Batman. And by the last se that was by the last season. Oh, so that was his big raise. <laughs> Only got paid for reruns for the first two years in syndication. Oh. And never made out any money on the merchandising. Well, who was your agent? <laughs> Gary Delavati. <laughs> Gary Delavati was your agent? I can't believe it. It just didn't occur to you to ask for those things at that time. I mean, well, you they didn't... didn't make deals like that. Though. Yeah. Well, when you first got into it, you were probably happy to have the gig, right? I mean, at first you were like, hey, this is a cool job, so hey, I'll do it for a little bit of money. every week, yeah. And then you probably signed a long-term contract, and then trying to get more money out of them was ridiculous, right? But I think, Howard, uh, what seems like a little bit of money to you and the others here this morning uh, was uh, considerable money then. Oh, for what I was doing. Right. And after all, it was 80 years ago. Right. And not only that. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Do you know that Michael Keaton's dinner at the premiere of Batman cost $4,500? That's what you, you know that? <laughs> That's the uh, that sad part. That was lunch one day right. on the set. Did you really wig out when uh, yeah, they gave it to... I um, still eating box lunches. What? Did you flip out when um, they gave it to Michael Keaton and you weren't even called? Well, I had about uh, 15 minutes of uh, madness and being crazed and, and uh, disappointed. Right. Right. You However, really didn't think they were going to put you in no, this Robin, movie. No, Robin, I didn't at all because I heard about it <laughs> sure he did. for years. And, <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, right. uh, I, I decided that, uh, you know, why? I, I don't want to be bitter. Yeah, but why couldn't you play Alfred? Or uh, someone like I, that? I could certainly do that. Yeah, right. Yeah, that would have been a good <laughs> could have been Alfred. Yeah, sure. that would have been good. But I, what I would love to do is come in and play Uncle Batman. Uncle oh, Batman, yeah. right, yeah. In other words, uh, things get so tense and awful, so heinous, right? Right, in right. Gotham City, right. that uh, whoever's playing Batman has to call on me. He discovers me as a working criminologist in some university uh -huh, or some nonsense. Uh -huh. Here's why Adam West was in my book. All right? <laughs> Let me tell you why. Yeah, take off your jacket, for God's sake. Thanks. All right. I'm going to stay a while now. I... Adam, West comes, Adam West agreed to come on our TV show. Now, I read in his new book that he says when Howard Stern asked me to be on the TV show you you were not a, you did not want to go on right at first you were like I'm, I have a bit of uh, hesitation here well Howard I don't like to leave the house right however <laughs> is that true <laughs> yeah really are you uh, are you like are like, you a hermit or are recluse? you a hermit well I'm not a recluse I'm really a family man and and uh, well I now you are enjoy spending time with this family the right. Sternites right <laughs> and uh, but you don't like to leave the house uh, not especially unless uh, I'm paid well. Right, and I, he was you weren't paying. Well, he wasn't, I wasn't paying. You weren't paying anything at all. <laughs> I yeah. heard you have a ranch. Uh, yes. Wow. See, well, we'll get to how how the hell Adam put that together. Yeah, because everyone's know fascinated about that. on forty five hundred. <laughs> but anyway, what I did was. Um, I was smart. I wanted him on the TV show. We didn't have any money to pay him, so I sent up the bat signal, ah, and then I lured him over to Channel 9. Yeah. And the bat signal no longer looks like a bat. It's just big dollar signs. <laughs> <laughs> we got Adam to come out of there. So anyway, I, uh, I know what happened was, so Adam agreed to come on the show. We are in a writing meeting, and I said, you know what would be really cool? Let's do a sketch with Adam West. Mm -hmm. And everyone said, well, if you ask him to do the sketch, he probably won't show up. I go, we said yeah. that about all our guests. Yeah, because we always did really messed up sketches because we didn't want to disappoint the audience. So I said, you know, it would be really cool if I was Fartman and Adam West was Batman. And that would be really cool. Right. But then we figured out on our own that, hey, Adam's not going to be Batman because, like, he holds it sacred or something or he's legally not allowed to be Batman or something like that. A little of both. Yeah, so I said, I'll be Fartman, but I won't tell him because if I tell him I'm going to be Fartman in the sketch, he'll probably just split and leave. Right. That'll be it. And then we'll be sunk. And we won't have a show for the week. Again. Yeah. Because everyone knows Adam's nutty about Batman. You right. know what I mean? He's, He's got, like, he things about it. He has rules right. about Right, his rules about yeah. Batman. There's all kind of Batman call, rules. Batman, Batman wouldn't do yeah. this. Yeah. Batman yes. would do yeah. that. Batman wouldn't do that. <laughs> hey, take it easy, pal. Batman doesn't talk like that. When Adam goes senile, like, one day he'll be 100 years old. He'll be in an old age home. He'll be running around in that cowl. Old age yes. and, Yeah, right. Yeah, he'll be like Bella Lugosi. He'll be like, Robin, where are you? Where, where are you, Robin? 
You know what Alfred, I'm saying? Get me the bat pole. Yeah, yeah. Get me the bat pole. They'll be like, okay, just give him more Thorazine. Give him more Thorazine. Eh? Get the bat walker. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> that's what happened to the guy who played the Tarzan. The is this chair yeah. Batman. <laughs> that's what happened to the guy who played Tarzan. He went completely, Johnny Weissmuller went completely wacky when he yeah. became an old man. And he, he just ran around the old age home going, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Right. He married an alligator. Still running around. Listen. Right. Yeah, but you know, all those people lived on the average of seven or eight years longer. Yes. Because of the shock of hearing that. Yes. Through their doorways. Right. <laughs> That's right. It kept them going. It woke them up. It was entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> but Bella Lugosi was the same thing. He insisted on being buried in his cape and his fangs. Right? They buried yes, him with his costume. Just like Dracula. So that might happen to you. No. I mean, you don't think it will. Johnny Weissmuller swore on a stack of Bibles it wouldn't happen to oh, him. He was tired how do you of know, the Lord? Lord. Because they all did. Bella Lugosi says, oh, it's just a pot. And then all of a sudden, when you lose no, your marbles, didn't, when you they lose didn't your marbles, all do that. when you lose your marbles, you go back to what was most what pleasing. What about Aunt B? Aunt B became Aunt B. Aunt B. She was Aunt B. It's going to happen to you, Adam. No, it is not. Of course you're it really is. You're really intimidating. He doesn't know. Sport. I'm really intimidating. Yes, you, you are. I don't think not, you're. <laughs> I don't think I could. It's not going to happen to me because I was other things before Batman. I was a detective, a cowboy. Yeah, but I Batman do that is in the, the old folks' home. But, but Batman the is the defining role. role. Uh, it's always the defining. Have role. you heard about the new series? What new series? Well, my oh yeah, you're Howard. in a new series. Yeah, what is that? It's called The Clinic. Did I turn that nicely to yes, yes. kind of a plug thing? Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, you're doing the clinic. Yes. Yeah, Adam's very touchy about that. He wants to, wants you to know. He works he a lot. He does other things. Well, yeah, he's not just yeah. Batman. You know, I did read... Unless in... there's a crime, but there is here this morning. <laughs> 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 That's <laughs> right. <laughs> I did read some of the uh, stuff that was written over the weekend about Adam, and yeah. he does like to always point out that after Batman, yes. he had to go on the dinner show circuit right. and do lots of B movies and C movies because people wouldn't give him a chance. He was typecast yeah. in that role. You had to do porno. You did that thing Lady Chatterley's Lover, right? Well, that was kind of soft. Softcore uh, porn, but sure. that's I mean, what Belzer's wife. Well, the thing is, they added that later. I had no idea. The script that I read was... <laughs> <laughs> you they fooled you. Are you yeah, that's right. I mean, certainly no boobs, nothing in that. So someone told me you cried for three years after the series went and that, that was it, right? Well, I, I felt sorry for myself. It was bad really because you, had, you, got stere- you got you got you got stereotyped. Absolutely. You the got type- typecast. I was yeah. the victim of typecasting, yeah. as so many are. Right. You know, now, you what would happen when you would go to apply for a job? They go, hey, Batman, how you doing? They say, good morning, Batman. <laughs> yeah, it's even like on the new series. On the new uh, series, you play a doctor, right? I play a doctor. Yeah, but it's a like Dr. Batman. <laughs> no, it is you know not, be great. Howard. You know what would be great on the new series? Every time someone walks in, hey, Batman, when did you become aren't a doctor? Aren't you Batman? <laughs> hey, aren't you Batman? <laughs> you know who battled that? Fred Gwynn, the great actor Fred Gwynn, who played mm-hmm. Herman Munster. He was a great actor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But the son of a bitch, could, every time you saw him on the screen, it was like, Couldn't hey, take it. every idiot in the audience would go, there's Herman Munster. <laughs> he might as well have changed his name. And then finally got that role in my cousin Vinny. He did a great job as the judge. And he was finally getting over it. And what did he do? He dropped oh, dead. Good. So you better hope this doesn't work out. Why are you looking out. me? <laughs> 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 it. Well, you look healthy. Thermometer. Right. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I think, uh, I think you're right. I think that uh, he kind of blazed a trail there as far as typecasting. It's tough. Uh, it took me a little while to get away from it. Right. About 24 years. That's yeah. all. Big That's deal. That's usually the yes. time it takes. After yeah. Batman, Adam yeah. West and Sean Connery used to sit around and just spit on each other and go, <laughs> 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 Yeah, James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Just like constantly. That's right, and then Ringo Starr joined the group. <laughs> Ringo yes, Starr, so right. He was a bitter. Beatles and Bond. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Adam. Oh, I have a Let signing me say why... today, Howard. A signing. Yeah, okay. Have right, you right, done right, signings? Okay. Now, right. wait a minute. Have you yes. done signings? Yes, I have done books. Tell signings. me about it. Uh, what you do is you go... First of all, you know a lot of people are excited to meet you. The, to, Batman is hotter than ever now. To have Batman memorabilia, to have you sign the Batman book would be very exciting. Will my book sell better than yours? Um, oh, I, I would think so. <laughs> I would think so. You know, my book is... Uh, have you ever seen bats by the thousands at sundown flying out of a cave entrance? Mm-hmm. Yes. In a feeding frenzy? Yes. This is the way the books are going out of the warehouse. Yes, well, I'm going to yes. talk about your book oh, now. Oh, you are? First, I want to tell you why you were <laughs> my book. So I did the sketch with Fartman. Adam West came on, and we decided not to tell him in advance that we were going to do a Fartman sketch. Uh, right. And Adam came on, and I said, uh, by the way, let's do a sketch. He goes, well, what kind of sketch? Let me see the script. I go, what do you need to see the script for? Just let's go out there and act spontaneously. You just look at the teleprompter, and let's do it. No, I insist on seeing the script. <laughs> and uh, Adam was good enough to do it. He looked at it and uh, agreed to be in the Fartman, uh, Fartman Goes to Superhero School. Right. This is uh, unusual for well, us. I did and it was brilliant. It changes, Howard. It was brilliant. Remember when I, when, I, um, when I bent over, I farted on the chicken and cooked it? 
Right on TV? I'll never forget that. Wasn't oh, that great? Yes. Even Adam was... Uh, uh, there, there, there's a chain of restaurants now. Yes. Based on that. <laughs> that was a great I script. I, but <laughs> and that was the debut of uh, Fred from Mars Man and Jackie the Belly Button Man, all of that, King Howard, of Mars. Seriously, I was never so stunned in my life when I came down that stairs. Yes. And I thought that they weren't going to do this. All right, in the and book. And I saw you fly in in a very athletic way. Yes. <laughs> yeah, very. On this rope. With yeah. a toilet seat on your rear end. Yes, that was the best. That was the first I was time. Stunned, that Howard. was the first time I'd ever done fart man ever really anyway that's why I look so dignified I right. was stunned you were great you handled it like a pro. You, you handled it very professionally. I saw why they love you as an actor. Well, thank you for the picture in your book. Yes, you were and, great. And you're in my book, and, and yes. this is my humble way to repay you. The book is called um, Back to the Bat Cave by Adam West. Now, Adam, you do talk about your love life. When you were doing Batman... Was he married then? You were you were single, am I correct? I was single, yes. Yes. Oh. And he became was Mr. Was Run. Well, oh, he between. was a woman magnet. Well, he? yes, he had a happening job. <laughs> and he could date celebrities. He's in Hollywood. Now, he doesn't mention a lot of names, but you do mention the name of Natalie Wood's sister. Lana. Lana Wood. You got her. You nailed her, right? I don't know. In a very flattering way, uh, we were t together occasionally. Yes. How was she? Was she as hot-looking as uh, Natalie Wood? I think she was gorgeous, yes. Really? Yeah. And what did you do? Like, uh, you met her at a party or something? Uh, no, I met her uh, years ago in Honolulu with Natalie. Oh, you met Natalie Wood. Yes. Now, there was a knockout. Because I was doing uh, something like this, Howard. Yes, a radio show? Yes. You were doing the radio well, show? Well, a simulcast with uh, TV, too. I had two hours of television in the morning uh, with a chimpanzee named Peaches. Oh. That's why <laughs> things were going well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. And this, this is how I started. Oh, so you were a disc Hello. jockey? Yeah. And you and, met Natalie Wood well, while you were yes, disc jockey? we were there for the premiere of a movie, yes. and I was asked to escort Natalie to the premiere. Oh, no kidding. Wow. That's why I am never escorting Nobody anyone. ever calls you. <laughs> well, look at me. And look at Adam. This is, that's the reason. Oh, no, no, no. I'm an no, ugly guy. No, I know I've that. I've seen your picture in the green room. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so let me get this, let me get this right. Uh, where's Peaches today, by the way, your sidekick? Uh, in that uh, home with Johnny Weissmuller. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Peaches was upset. He got typecast. <laughs> Never anyway, no. Only offered monkey rolls. Yeah, he was mad that he didn't get to play Robin on the Batman series. All right, so let me well, get Peaches this straight. Peaches was an okay a chimp, but uh, uh, in your everyone book, thought Peaches was a girl, a lady chimp, because Peaches wore a skirt. Right, but, but it was a guy. did obscene things under my desk on the air, and it was always... Masturbation? A, well, yeah, it was a right. challenge. Wow. A challenge, yes. So this book is filled with sex, I, I, except I it's about monkeys. <laughs> monkey anecdote, sex. The anecdote to bring in. And you're saying that you, as a disc jockey, got to date... Lana Wood, and she fell in love with you. Isn't that correct? No. You didn't date her? Did you have sex with her? Uh, uh, love? I don't know. I, I've forgotten. What, did she love me? I. She may have liked me a little. Right. And did you have sex with her? Did you I nail her? Never. Howard would a superhero talk Batman about... Batman wouldn't you, do Talk that. about kissing. Hey, Batman, you want to sell what, books, you what, better what, tell. <laughs> <laughs> you better open up about uh, that. Hey, my book is a spill-all of a kind. Yes. But it's not about uh, being abused by... Uh, but you dated Natalie Lana, Wood, too, Lana. didn't you? One night. That was it. I just and you couldn't nail her? One night. And you couldn't nail her? She said she'd go to dinner, and, and we had Mai Tais. Wow. And I had the, uh, the little umbrella and the drink up my nose, so no, but I you say, too cool. But you say in your book, the whole time you were with Natalie Wood, she talked about Raymond Burr? Uh, yes, there would uh, Raymond Burr. Now Raymond Burr was a, uh, Raymond Burr was a queen, right? I, I mean, have, uh, was he? I did Perry Mason. He never came after me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that doesn't mean anything. Maybe he wasn't attracted to you. <laughs> now Batman wouldn't have had sex, but Adam West would have invaded or every orifice on a woman if uh, he had his chance. Well, true. I think Adam West is probably a, a fairly healthy guy. Yes. yes. <laughs> so Batman you didn't... was uptight, but not Adam. <laughs> so when you were when you were Robin and I did the same show together, by the way. Yes, when you were on the You're show. It's still on that. Uh, Just stay yes, with me, I Adam. Know, I'm All right. When you were on the show, when you were on the show, when you were on the show, yes. a lot of Hollywood stars. Those new glasses. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on. This is interesting. When you were on the show, a lot of women came on to you. True or false? We had guys, girls. We had men elephants. came on to you too. <laughs> now, what guys came on to you? <laughs> Was that Caesar Romero after you? Did Caesar Romero ever try to get it on with you? Well, here's a little hint. Caesar, I don't know. Here's a little hint, though. Well, Go ahead. Howard. A Liberace <laughs> came on to you? Be on your show. Oh, really? really? Well, no. Was that a Liberace he impression? He really didn't come on. He was a wonderful guy. He was a sweet guy. Did he try to get it on guy. with you? Uh, what, what? No, because he was too tough. 
<laughs> no, come on. What happened between you and the Barashi? Barashi was playing twins. Right. And uh, one of the one twins, of him wasn't the enough. great Chandel, right? <laughs> yeah. And one of them was really tough. So Lee thought Liberace thought that he was Jimmy Cagney. Right. Uh, during that week. Right. So no, he certainly wouldn't make advances uh, toward any guy because he was tough. So, so you're Jared, saying you never had anything sexual really with Liberace, fun. or he tried to get into your bat Only pants? Only with his cape. I bat see. Pants. <laughs> your bat pants. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now let's. Now let's. Now also, you say during your heyday with this Batman thing, you were dating a woman that looked like Doris Day, but it turned out when you got him in bed, it was a guy. <gasps> Really? You were duped. Adam. Now, how did, now, Adam, how were you are duped? You, are you this talking? is all in your book. It is, really? Yes. Did I write that? Well, you want to call <laughs> him? He doesn't he remember his life, and he doesn't know who are you wrote talking this about book. Batman. He doesn't know who wrote the book. <laughs> are you talking about Batman's night with a transvestite? Yeah. Now, what happened? You well, were. This was, was a big night for you. Well, it was, yes. You met a woman you were very attracted it to. It was like dealing with fart man. It was really odd. What happened? <laughs> what was the story? Well, it was in old Madrid. I want mm -hmm. you to picture now the setting. It was a basement, a basement. Very romantic. Very romantic. A ba what basement were you doing there? Shooting? in Spain with olives. What were you doing there? Vacation? Feta cheese. I don't know what. Were you, were you yeah, on vacation? I was on location. Yeah. Uh, vacation? Location, yes. You were on location. Were on vacation okay. that night. <laughs> <laughs> I think Adam's drinking Bad Daniels. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. No, no, what really? What happened? What was it? Yeah, right. I was doing my spaghetti western, right? Right. And uh, so I'd, <laughs> I'd come into Madrid. And uh, had a nice apartment at the uh, a plaza, the plaza. Right. And uh, that night I went out and stayed quite late. And I was in a basement bistro, and there was this marvelous orchestra playing all these cool tunes. Right. And Doris Day, <laughs> seemingly, <laughs> yeah, was, magnificent woman. Oh, magnificent! Was standing. <laughs> Uh, in front of the band singing all these wonderful songs directly to me. Oh. Right. I didn't realize that a guy named Jim Aubrey and Keith Brazell had put her, him, her up to that. Yeah. I hate to spoil the punchline, but him, her. Right. And Doris kept looking at me and I'd sneak a little toast, you know, and I thought, wow, <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is my lucky night of all but time. You didn't, but you you um, didn't think it was Doris Day, but you said, hey, this is a real Doris Day well, look I was like. told it was Doris Day. She was on location. I was okay. a little fuzzy. Oh, oh so you bought day. it. Okay, go ahead. Well, I kind of bought it. I right. wanted to buy it. Right. what happened. I really wanted to buy it. So after I she's, pay anything right. for it. After she's what done if, singing, you go up to her? Well, and, no, she came down from the bandstand and walked directly up to me. Right. It was one of those moments. And did you kiss? Camera here, camera there. She kissed me lightly and said, Hi, buy me a drink. Hi, buy me a drink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Perfect but, English. But and you I thought said, it was a girl still. A romantic thing in her voice. Yeah. Yes, and I said, Why? Certain <laughs> moi, madame. Right. I'm trying to be really cooler. And so we had a drink, and uh, a moment later, we left this basement, and she went back to my apartment, <laughs> and the moonlight streaming in on her pink sketch, and luscious. No lady. trace of a beard or anything? No, just no. a luscious, gorgeous person. And one thing led to another dress uh, fell to the floor in this pool of moonlighted. <laughs> uh, so you were really, the, yeah, you, yeah. you really made one on her, huh? Well, I tried, I tried. <laughs> so, you're, so, you, so Adam, you're a homo. Oh. I mean, is that what you're well, saying? Well, exactly. <laughs> a homo. I think so. No, I mean, no, I don't know. I can minute, tell him a mile away. Story, Adam it was the yeah. first guy to do the crying game thing. Yeah. <laughs> Did you puke? No, what happened, no, no. No. What happened was... Uh, so he assumed that you knew that he was a guy. No. No, no, he was fooling you. He yes. took off his clothes. Yes, yes. Did he have breasts? I don't know. I didn't uh, wait. No, what, I what do you mean? I was too eager. My hands slipped down the body, flesh, and suddenly cold plastic. Cold oh, plastic. On the breast? No, no lower. There. Lower down. down there. Plastic there. vagina. I guess. No, no. No, what? Really? What was there? It was kind of a girdle, plastic girdle. Yeah. And I jumped out of bed. I mean, I hit the floor running. Really? Yes. Of I course. Said, Who are, what is you this? were in bed. Well, what are you? He was oh naked. My were you yes, undressed? I was naked in bed. <laughs> <laughs> and I ran across the floor. I hit oh. the wall. I slipped. It was really romantic. No kidding. <laughs> yes. And you ran out of the room, never to see him again? No. I stayed. Wow. I stayed. So, so you there know was, why I stayed? Why? You didn't want to insult him. Because I wanted to know what it was. Really? Yes. <laughs> so there was kissing and stuff that well, went on. Well, there was on. one kiss. Right. And that's all it took. Come oh, on, man. How could you see, get I'm into quick. Bed. I'm really quick. One yeah. kiss and my hands went to the plastic. Oh, I right. see what you're saying. Boy, you, no but foreplay with you. I was nerdy. <laughs> I was really nerdy. And <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, and then he, she said that... Uh, uh, that uh, she was a uh, nightclub singer yeah. during the winter, yeah. and during the summers, uh, that she became he and a diver. 
I see. So you hung out with them and a diver. Then, a diver. Yes. And then you hung out with them. Deep sea. Right. And then you hung out with them. Oh, I didn't hang out. Oh, you just you. For you, the you evening. Yeah, well, for the yeah. evening. I sat. There. So did you do anything to get you off? I sat oh, there drinking, <laughs> drinking brandy and saying, "Tell me about yourself." Right. And before you leave, I want to know. You know, it's an actor's curiosity. Look at you, Howard. Looking at me. Right. You're curious. Yeah, oh, I am curious <laughs> now. I'm just wondering <laughs> your sexuality, brother. Well, well, so why you did you get married? When did what? you get married? Like how many sexuality. years? Sexuality. Yeah. When did you get married? Straight as anybody. Oh, are you? Your men's room. <laughs> 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 so you've, that's the only homosexual experience you've had. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. no, once in a theater. Oh, wait a second. Yeah. I wait told you the guy's a homo. No, I had my tights on. What'd you do there? I had my tights on. Yeah. Yes. And a guy put his hand on my knee. Really? Just because I was wearing tights. A lot of macho guys <laughs> wore tights. But that's the only other time. Uh, yes. Yeah. All right, so why did no, you... No, wait, there was... Uh, see, no, you no, keep teasing. on. There'll be no, every time. No, I've been married. <laughs> so, so you got married... Three how Three times. And, and three times? Yes, but this time, tw 24 years to Marcel, my wonderful wife. And you met her for what, the sex. Batman thing? Uh, it was uh, during. Yeah. And we have six children. So what, wow. she, what, was she a model? No. Really? But she was really hot. And you dumped hot, your... Hot. Did you dump your oh, second oh, wife? so hot. Did you dump hot your second wife. wife during the Batman show to marry Marcel? No, no, we had broken up, Howard. Boy, oh so boy. So he was just and single. But women, I, I was, women, I mean, we were, you had a couple of bad romances. Uh, yes, yeah, seven-year romances. I see. So the first wife you got rid of, you didn't have kids with her. Uh, no, she fell in love with an older man. Oh, she did? Yes, a very nice-looking older man. who had And a, she dumped you? Who had a yacht. Right. And oh. she went after his money. Oh, well, I don't know, but I think they were truly in love, and we had uh, a meeting, and I said, if you really love this older man, why should I stand in your way? Second wife, you marry before, the, I mean, you divorce before the Batman, so you don't have to give her any of your $4,500 a week. Uh, well, no, but I was, I think I was very generous. Oh, you were? Yes, we had two children. So oh, you did have two oh children. Oh, my goodness, you have eight children altogether? Uh, six. Man. Six oh, six. Oh, okay. How do you afford all that? How did you make I all this money? Power, that's why you and I get along, because you're a family man. Yes, and you live on a farm you're an now? You're honest guy. You're a family man. You live on a farm? You put your family first. Yes. What did you ask me? You live on I a farm? I put my family first. A ranch. A ranch? Well, we, we live in Idaho, in uh, central Idaho. Oh, I see. And uh, I, I don't tell people because I want to keep it private. We had uh, an enormous number of people moving in there. We had three people last year move in right. to that section of Idaho. And you want and, to keep it quiet? Uh, absolutely. Right. A lot of acting work there in we Idaho? Have, we have a ranch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't As a matter get that. of fact, Howard, I, commute, yeah. I commute from there, really. It's really? kind of tough, but it's, I think it's worth it. You go to but LA. There is acting work. There is. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> no, I did a picture in Idaho recently. Oh, yeah? Yeah, called Not in This Part of the World. And um, you, you lived there with your wife, and you made enough money off the Batman and other acting things that you now can just live in Idaho and take, in, take acting jobs when you, when you please, right? Um, not entirely. No, I'm a really? working stiff. I oh, really, are you really? Yeah, I have to keep working. Hmm. I have, uh, uh, I have a lot of expenses, Howard. Right. Well, and, I can see you got eight yeah. kids and uh, several well, wives. Well, six, and, six, and, whatever. And and and, and, <laughs> and you know, lots of uh, pets and horses. And Who's that out there with you? Your daughter? Uh, Malama. It's, it's my daughter. Oh, I thought Nina. that was I thought Nina. was your girlfriend. No, oh. Nina. Yeah, know, right. I know. I, that's why my daughter. And which daughter is that? From the, the second marriage or the third? That's our youngest daughter. Oh, that, I see. Uh, my marriage to Marcel of 24 and, years. And she's on her way to college? She's on her way to college. I'm going to deliver her to college uh, next Monday. Did she get financial aid or you have to pay for that? Well, I'm paying for it. Whoa. Uh, oh, well, you must this, have money. This, You're paying for college. My, uh, I am not destitute. You remember Bruce Wayne, millionaire philanthropist? Yeah. He helped me a lot. <laughs> I always think Adam West is advice. destitute for some reason. I, know, I don't know. I used to think he needed to run around in that cape and, ca and that cowl, and yeah. I was no, angry was really at fun. those people fun, for not letting fun. him do it. Uh, Listen, money is very important to me, however. Is there a payment for this? I wonder <laughs> how it was for your daughter being Adam West's daughter, you know, being Adam Can Where we is talk she? to her? Look, can we meet her? Of course. Oh, good. Hey, bring her in, Gary. I'd like to hear that. Yeah, uh, what is it like you know, when your father's Batman? Yeah. It's kind of interesting because uh, all the kids went through that. And what I did, I decided early on when they started asking questions and, right. and uh, uh, giving me something that I felt that was not appropriate, Yeah, uh, I gave the kids pictures and, uh, and said, hey, anybody ask, just give them a picture and we'll be done with it. Hey, them. how you doing? Hi, you better keep Nina. Nina. Who's that, Nina? Whoa. All right. That's my hey, Nina. Nina. Nina, how you doing? Yeah. Better keep your eye on her. Window. Bet you a lot of guys want to date you, right? <laughs> yeah, right? 
Now let's see how this goes. This is Nina's <laughs> first time on a microphone. First oh. time. On really? Radio. Nina, just relax. I bet you when you go to college, a lot of guys are going to hit on you. But you better. I'm sure Adam didn't It'll have this discussion with you. It'll go around the campus that Batman's daughter is. Yeah, a lot of guys are going to want you because you're Batman's daughter, and a lot of guys are going to want you because you're cute. So the thing is, what you got to do is, is ignore weed these them out. and weed them out. And I'm sure your father hasn't told you this. I mean, there's epidemics out there. You've just got to stay away from men. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Am I right? Yeah. Good, yeah. Good Adam likes that. He's like, I, I'm a little too embarrassed to bring this up. <laughs> Howard, you have, you, the, Howard. you have well, the discussion with yeah, her. Yeah, Howard, we've yeah. had a few talks, and uh, I watch her. I really watch her. Is she a troublemaker? Uh, Nina has been from time to time, but yes. uh, I think Nina's probably one of the best of our crop. Oh, really? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yes. Nina's an uh, honor student. Uh, her high school, she won uh, the national math championship. Oh, oh did you really? Oh. Yes. All right, let's see if you know your gazintas. <laughs> <laughs> Give her a math equation, Jackie. Yeah. Square root of 81. Square root of 81, quickly. Oh, gosh. Um, two? Princeton. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, man. <laughs> you won the math? <laughs> hey, say it, Nina. Iowa stinks. Stinks. Doesn't it really? Well, that's whatever why the, she lives in Idaho. Excuse Idaho, me. whatever the hell it is. A lot of people make that mistake. Huh? Is that right? Yeah. Same, same difference. Ohio, Iowa. Who even right. knows? So, how was it having your dad being Batman? It's great. Was I it? Love it yeah. yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's were, a lot of fun. And were your friends always like, "Wow, he's Batman"? Let's go over to yeah. Nina's house. Let's go over to Nina because <laughs> so you were probably very popular growing up because of your father's fame. Is that yeah, true? I wouldn't have had any friends otherwise. Really? <laughs> 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 Understood. <laughs> No, you obviously had a lot of friends. Uh, you're an attractive person. You know that, right? And you know to stay away from men who are going to want you because you're Batman's uh, daughter. Is that correct? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You've had guys come on to you for that reason? No. Actually, it's never happened. Really? Uh, not that I know of. <laughs> I'm sure, like, especially in Idaho, guys go, hey, guess what? I got Batman's <laughs> daughter. I got a Batman's yeah, daughter. I got a hold of Batman's <laughs> daughter. You know what I mean? That's pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? You got to be, you got to be really leery of that. I'm dating Batgirl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm with Batgirl, you know, behind her back and stuff. Yeah. you got to be careful. Yeah, that could happen, Howard. That's why we kept her locked up. <laughs> yeah, that was very smart. And now you're going to college, so you can find, you, I bet you can't wait to get out of the house, right? Um, yeah, it'll be nice. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what? Is, <laughs> is Adam a strict father? You told millions father? of people that. Is it real bad when you see your dad sitting around just drinking and screaming about Batman and everything? <laughs> <laughs> what? You're used to it? Yeah, yeah I understand. Running around in that cape. <laughs> what was it like when Dad found out about the Batman movie? Was he, like, out of his mind? Oh, totally crazy. Yeah, he was like running around the house <laughs> screaming and we stuff. We had to leave the house. Yeah, really? <laughs> he had to move out. And uh, do you ever hang out with uh, Robin's kids? You know, the guy who played Robin? Burt Ward. Burt Ward? No, I no? don't know them. You know Commissioner Gordon's grandkids? <laughs> do you know the Riddler's children? Anybody? Did, uh, uh, did Dad take everybody to the Batman movie and tell them what was wrong with it? Or yeah. What? Did your father critique the Batman movie to you and everything and like get all upset? No, he, he wouldn't let us go. He didn't? <laughs> Is that right? No, I saw it. You did see it? Yeah. Did you have to sneak out and see it? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> man. He, he let us see it. He was... He was cool about it? Oh, yeah. And he wasn't upset? No. Did he start crying during the movie? Uh, <laughs> no, I fell asleep, Howard. Did no. you really? It was boring. <laughs> <laughs> Were you hurt for your dad that he didn't get to play uh, Batman in the movie? Um, Kind of. Yeah, you yeah, would like to have seen it. Well, we all would have liked to have seen sure. that. We're big Adam West fans here. Well, we, we... I'm Uncle Batman now. <laughs> yeah, well, whatever. Is the house that you live in decorated like the Batcave? Does, is, there a, <laughs> is, there... is there a pole? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And you are going. Yes, Nina, go on, go on, dear. She's not going to these questions. Nina's not going. Nina's not going to live in one of those co-ed dorms or anything, is she? No. There are no. no guys at Princeton. No guys. No, no guys at Princeton. She keep. She told me this. There's no there guys, are no at, guys Princeton? at Princeton. Oh, right, right according to Nina. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I was going to say, what the hell is that all about? <laughs> What'd you get on your SATs? You must be pretty smart to get into Princeton. Or'd your father pay off somebody? <laughs> <laughs> well, seriously, what'd you get on your SATs? Um, 1360. Ooh, oh. she's smart. Oh, not bad. Like her mommy. <laughs> I got 450 on my uh, math. <laughs> <laughs> Are you <laughs> impressed? <laughs> I had a 450 on math, and I think I, um, I think I broke 400 on English. <laughs> I'm pretty sure of that. Yeah, I had combined 900. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? And look at you now. Yeah. Look at you now. Look at what you yeah. You, you turned all of that potential into yeah. this. You know what's funny? 1360 on the SATs is more than my entire staff. <laughs> <laughs> Got it combined. I beg your pardon. Oh, Robin, and please. Guest, and your guest included. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> your wife must be some knockout. Yes, yeah, she is. Wonderful, honest, beautiful. Now, how did you meet How's your mom? Wife? He got her. He got her on the Batman set. Yeah, How's was she wife, uh, an actress? What was she doing? What was your mom doing? Was I mean, what was your mom? What was she, an actress? No. What was she? 
I don't know. What Groupie? Script what was girl? She? Script girl? Would you say hello to your wife? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what was your wife doing at the time? Seriously, during the Batman show? Uh, she was uh, a visitor on the set. No. Oh. Was she in a little mini skirt or something? No, 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 no. She's really a very conservative lady and a uh, wonderful wife and mother. And, and I well, how did you... And I'm beginning to cry now because I miss her. Oh. Could she still wear a bikini? <laughs> what? Could she wear a bikini? Absolutely. Really? Oh, yes. We walk around in bikinis in Idaho. And oh, just man. Two of us in bikinis. Lucky devil. <laughs> Lucky devil. How do you like that? Wait, don't you want to know how they, you know, you want to know how your mother and father... <laughs> <laughs> Ended up in the sack That's together, right. and had you. <laughs> Shit, you want to know? Isn't it weird hearing about your parents having sex and stuff? Yeah, I asked my mother once about sex. Yeah, and then you stopped. Oh, I did it on the air. It's the only place I could ask. Now, when you met your wife, was she dressed as Raymond Burr? And you got confused. <laughs> she was singing in a nightclub. She was dressed as Doris Day. <laughs> All right, listen. Maybe this is too embarrassing. Alex. The sexual past is too is too confusing. Howard, I'm proud of it. Listen, uh, why not? And you wrote it in a book. Yes, it's there. Alex. Thanks. Always good to see you, Adam. Howard, Thanks I for want coming you to on. See uh, the new movie. I really got a break. You've got to know about this. What new movie? I don't know. No, it's called The New Age at Warner's. Oh, that's your, your movie? Yes, Michael Tolkien, Peter Weller, Judy Davis. And I'm part of this wonderful enterprise. It's a brilliant script. Oh, okay. And, and when does that come uh, out? I'm finally getting all these breaks. It's terrific. Yeah, he's got a TV show, a couple yeah. of movies. But I think it's because the dinosaurs are leaving the studios or something. You know, <laughs> right, uh, right. Guys your age. Oh, good. Okay, we're looking forward to that. And then what else? It'll also, the TV movie, show. Howard. The TV show that uh, you're going to be in? The Clinic. Right, where you play Dr. Batman. Uh, no, now, Dr. what Dr. channel? Dr. Van Hoon. Dr. Van Hoon. <laughs> <laughs> what channel Thanks, are Howard. we talking it's been about? A lot of fun. What, chan what channel uh, would that be, be on? Comedy Central. Comedy oh, Central? Okay. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, yeah. I mean, those guys actually paid for a program? Well, absolutely. And it's, oh, it's wow. the first of its kind because it'll be the first adult nighttime soap opera that's stripped Monday through Friday, every night. So you'll be naked in it? Of course. Okay. No, no, no. no. I, don't no think I understand. That's what he meant. I understand. <laughs> you know, someone in New Jersey has that stupid bad car. Yes. Yeah, I know. I saw it yesterday. Yeah. Uh -huh. What was it? An old Corvette? Uh, uh, no, it was a F Ford Futura. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're making <laughs> a lot kidding. of those now. <laughs> was it really? I thought it was a Corvette. No, no, Ford oh, Futura. That's, that's pretty the weird. The only thing I'll drive. Anyway, go see uh, Adam West today at Barnes & Noble, 5th Avenue and 48th. Thanks, Adam. Thank you, Howard. And thank you, Nina. Yeah, really good time. Yeah, have a good time yeah, at college. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Nina, we survived. We're out of here. Whoa. <laughs> Nina, you're not sleeping with guys yet, are you? Oh, dear, no Howard. Way. I don't what? think you want to talk you about that with a friend. No way? Good. Yeah, stay are a virgin. You sure? Stay a virgin, please, for <laughs> God's sake. Right. Adam, keep her a virgin. Thanks for that, Howard. You know what I mean? Because, you, <laughs> you know, guys are really evil. What is it, Baba Booey? Oh, I, I don't know. Somebody just told me who, who read the entire book that one of Adam's wives, maybe even the current one, inherited the Learjet fortune. Oh. oh. Wait a minute. Now, why didn't you oh, say that? Put those back no, on. What are you talking about there? No, no truth in that. Uh, she was married to... Uh, oh, so she's loaded. Uh, not really. No, no, not really. Well, that's where all the dough is. told me I'm going home now. Let's get on the phone, Nina. I think they're keeping that from the kids. Uh, yeah. Yeah, right. Hey, Nina, you don't even have to go to college. You never have to work again. <laughs> Your mom has a Learjet uh, fortune. No truth to that? No. Oh, all right. All right. The great Adam West, and uh, we'll be back right after these words. Thanks, Aaron. Adam, how did it go? Uh, just uh, fine. I mean, Howard, uh, it's a piece of cake, of course. Adam, would you do me a favor? I would like to introduce you to my assistant, Kathy. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Would you, you sign her book? Her whole book. Loved it. Thank you. Would you sign it for me? Sure. Yeah, could you, would you mind holding that? Yeah. And this, it's really warm in there. Yeah. I survived. I survived. Um, <laughs> these are the, these are the jokes that Jackie wrote. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Certainly did. Who's the phone? Kathy. Oh, no, I really didn't. I mean, I would have if I thought I would throw a wrench in, but I didn't. Thank you very much. Good luck with your show. Thanks, Kathy. What do you got? These are the jokes that Jackie wrote. He likes to have people sign them. These are the two jokes that he had. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Hey, how you doing? He writes something funny on that or something. When? What is that? When you were. Were? This were? When you were? I think she was just. I don't. She got me, man. <laughs> okay.